Om Shanti, this is the Abhyakt Murli of 23rd of September, 1973, and the title is Those who give light and might to the souls of the world have a right to the world. Do you perform every action while considering yourselves to be the elevated souls of the highest and high father? who are constantly stabilized in the most elevated stage? It is remembered of the Father. Your name is elevated, your task is elevated, and your abode is elevated. According to this, do you also consider yourselves to be the special souls who, like the Father, have an elevated name and perform an elevated task? Do you pay attention that you do not create even one wasteful or ordinary thought? This is known as an elevated stage. Do you experience yourselves to be those who have such an elevated stage? While you have wasteful thoughts, speak wasteful words, or perform wasteful deeds, you cannot become the best. There can only be either the best elevated or waste. Just as when it is the day, the night cannot exist, and when it is the night, the day cannot exist. In the same way, where there is waste, you cannot become the best. So in order to become the best, you have to finish the waste. When the waste is finished, then no matter what task the soul is performing, no matter what atmosphere or circumstances the soul is living in are like, even in the midst of an upheaval, you will experience remaining in rest. Scientists nowadays, on the basis of their knowledge of science, are able to give others the experience of rest by giving them an injection at the time they experience sorrow, are they not? In the same way, no matter how much uproar or how impure the atmosphere is, with the power of silence, because of having finished the waste and having stabilized yourself in the stage of the best, you will constantly experience rest. That is, you will constantly experience yourself to be resting on the bed of peace and happiness. There is a picture of the memorial of this. There is the upheaval of ocean waves, and while being in ocean, even while resting on a bed of snakes, that is, even while the atmosphere and the circumstances are of sorrow, there is still the experience of rest. This means that even when there is such a situation or such an atmosphere that bites or shakes you, and though the poison would make you unconscious, you make such an atmosphere into a bed of peace and happiness. That is, you make that place into a place of rest, which means you let the soul constantly remain your stage of rest. So do you have the practical experience of the image of the memorial in your life? To remain cool, in an atmosphere of coolness is not a big thing, and to remain comfortable when you have the facilities for the comfort is also ordinary. However, to stay comfortable in a situation of restlessness is known as being multi-million times fortunate. So while staying amidst the ocean of poison, to make the five vices a bed for your rest peace and happiness, that is, to become victorious over the vices from now and for all time, and remain engaged in churning knowledge and in celebrating a meeting with the Father, those who are stabilized in such a stage, that is, those who are constantly absorbed in a meeting the Father, are constantly free from obstacles. If you are not absorbed in deep love, then there are definitely obstacles.
Are the obstacles now being defeated when attacking you, or are you still being defeated by the obstacles? Is it possible that even now you are still being defeated? That is impossible, is it not? At this time, are you those who defeat others or the ones who are defeated? Since you yourselves have become free from obstacles, what is the duty of those who are going to be free of them? Some are still becoming this whereas others have already become this. Those who are to become this are busy with themselves because as long as they themselves have not become this, they can only carry out this task of making others this according to their capacity. However, what is the duty of those who have already become this? Their duty is to make others this. So you are making others this, are you not? Are you practicing? Charity begins at home. That is, have you made your companions this? Who are your companions? The companions of the Brahmin family. After making your companions the same as yourselves, you have to make them the same as the father. However, it is enough if you carry out the first stage of making them the same as you. What is the duty of those who have become this? What should their form be at the present time? Someone replied, destroyer of obstacles. Acha, how will you become a destroyer of obstacles? With which form will you destroy so that you are able to serve the world easily? What is that form? That of being a double light in my house. Why did Baba say double? Because you have to perform two tests. To some, you have to show the path to liberation, and to others, you have to show the path to liberation in life. You do not have to show just one path, but two paths, and you have to make each soul reach his destination. Therefore, those who have become this should have the form of double light and might so that while being in one place and the basis of your light and might, you are able to show wandering souls everywhere their destination. So are you busy in this task? There should now be a balance between both light and might. Simply having light will not do and simply having might will not do. When there is the accurate balance of the two, what blessing will you give with your light and might to all those children of the blind? And what will they receive as a blessing? In the scriptures, it has been remembered that the Karova community, the children of the blind, were blind. Give them the blessing of divine insight, the third eye. In fact, the donation of sight is said to be the most elevated donation. If someone doesn't have sight, the world doesn't exist for him. Call it the greatest donation of life, jiyadan, a blessing, vardan, or the greatest donation, mahadan. It is this. So give the blind divine insight or the donation of the third eye through which they are able to see their destination of liberation and liberation in life. If they can't see it, how could they reach there? Therefore, become a double light and might house. Keep a good balance between the two and give every soul the blessing of the third eye. This is the duty of the elevated souls. If you have light and might just for yourself, then you cannot be called a lighthouse. If you have light and might in yourself, then give the great donation 
and blessings to your companions and to the souls of the world. If a bulb does not spread its light, but only lights up the little area around itself, you would say that the bulb is of no use, would you not? So check yourself. Have I become one who is only able to spread my light and might around myself? Or have I become one who can give light and might to the whole world? To the extent that you are able to spread your light now, so you will claim a right to a small or a large kingdom accordingly in the future. If you become instrumental to give only a few souls light and might, then there too you will only claim a right to rule over a few souls. If you are a world server here, you become a ruler of the world kingdom. There are those who make others claim the right to a kingdom, and they are called teachers. They would become those who teach the royal activities, but they would not become those who rule. Will you become those who teach how to rule, or those who actually rule? In the Golden Age too, there would be teaching, even if just in name, would there not? A teacher who teaches royal activities is said to be in the kingdom, but not one who has a right to the kingdom. You can either be one who is in the kingdom or one who has a right to the kingdom. However, only those who are not subservient to their nature, sense scars or thoughts at this time will claim a right. If someone who is even now subservient to his thoughts, one who has claimed a right, he is even subservient to his thoughts, is he not? Therefore, you must now not be subservient to your thoughts, your nature, or your sense scars. Those who have now claimed a right over all of these will become the ones who have a right to the kingdom. So now, calculate for yourself how much you remain subservient to them and how much you have claimed a right over them. Then, from this result, you can have a vision of your own future, that is, you will then be able to recognize yourself in the mirror and see what your features will be in the future for 21 births. You can see your features for 21 births if you have made your mirror of the power of self-recognization that powerful. In a physical mirror, you are only able to see your present. No matter how powerful a mirror is, even though you are able to see that something very far away, that also only belongs to this world, does it not? You are not able to see your future through that. However, you have received such a powerful mirror of the power of recognition that not only you are able to see your future one birth, but in fact, your future 21 births. Then on the basis of your 21 births and on the basis of your future status, you would also be able to see your role as a worshiper. So do you continually look at the powerful mirror you have received from Bab Dada? Are you able to see yourself clearly or do you also need someone else to look at the mirror? Would someone who is Trikal Darshi need anyone else? Someone who is Trikal Darshi is able to know the future of others. So can you not know your own future? Have you become Trikal Darshi or those who are only able to see one aspect of time? To be able to see only one aspect of time means to be able to see the present. At least become Trikal Darshi and give everyone the message. When you only see one aspect of time and give a message, the result is also of only one third. 
give the message while being Trikalgar Rishi, and then the result will be triple. That is, it will be 75%. At present, it is only 25%. So what will you do now? Will all of you hoist the flag of victory for the Bandava army? What will you do then? You will hoist both of them, will you not? It is easy to hoist this flag, even if you hoist 100 instead of just one. Each of you can hoist as many flags in your area as you want. But what is in the beginning of hoisting this flag? You have to hoist the flag of victory. With that aim, are you using your body, mind, and wealth? Is it just with the aim of hoisting a flag with Shiva's message on it? Now keep the aim that all of you together will hoist the flag of victory in your kingdom and you will gain victory over everything. Look, what is the mouth of the world? The newspapers, leaflets, and magazines. You are now speaking through the mouth of the world, are you not? However, it has become quiet, or at least make it unconscious. Anyone who is unconscious will not speak, will he? Now the result has to be announced. Who becomes the ashes? How many become this? Now we will see who is the one who emerges out of multi-millions or out of hundreds of thousands. But how will this happen? For this, you have to renounce two things and imbibe one thing. What two things do you have to renounce? Someone said, we have to renounce following dictates from two directions and follow the directions of the one. But why are there two dictates? What is the reason for there being dictates of two when you have been following directions of the one? What two aspects do you have to renounce and which one aspect do you have to imbibe? Firstly, you have to renounce acceptance of praise and secondly, the external situations. Some you fluctuate because of the external situations and secondly, because of praise, you are not able to create that stage of yours. Therefore, you have to imbibe the stage of the original self. You have to renounce praise and external situations. Even your thoughts have to renounce them. Because of external situations, you are not able to create your own stage. Therefore, do not ever expect praise. If you think about having your own praise here, then the praise that you would receive for half a cycle would be reduced by 100% because the temporary praise received now cuts out the permanent stage that would be achieved. Therefore, you must now not use the words external situations, nor must you have any thoughts of receiving praise. The more humble you remain, the more successfully you will be able to carry out the task of renewal. If there isn't humility, you would not be able to carry out the renewal. In order to carry out the renewal, you first need to be humble. Therefore, no matter what the task is or what the circumstances in front of you are, constantly remember one slogan. There is the saying on the path of ignorance, you first, which means that to make others move forward, first is to make the self move forward. For the self to bow down and teach the self, to make the self bow down is to make the world bow down in front of oneself. Therefore, let there always be this attitude, vision, and words for one another. You first. Do not ever forget this slogan. Never through his thoughts, words, 
or deeds has Bob Dada ever shown you? I first. He has always kept the children ahead. He always placed this attitude and vision first. If every soul who follows the Father follows the Father in this way, then they can become the rosary of 100% success around the neck of the Father. If instead of you first, you have the thought, I first, even if one soul has this thought or even speaks or acts that it should be I first, then understand that one bead of rosary of success is broken. Even if one bead of a rosary breaks, it affects the whole rosary. Therefore, you have to make it firm for yourself in this aspect that together with the self, you also constantly have to try to make the gathering very successful in this lesson and this slogan so that not even one bead can become separated from the rosary of victory. When you make such effort and carry out this task, you will then be able to hoist the flag of victory over your kingdom. Before a part is played, it is always first rehearsed. Then they put on their costumes and makeup, etc. for only when are their parts successful. So when you come onto the stage ever ready and decorate it with your makeup, there will then be the sound of applause and once more will emerge from everyone's lips. You have not made yourself busy just in making the physical preparations, have you? First of all, prepare your dress and then prepare the materials for the makeup. To put on your makeup means to stabilize yourself in a particular stage. Are you also preparing this? Do you have a meeting for this? While having many meetings, do not forget this point. While you are decorating the stage, time is up and you are then just left standing there. It doesn't happen like this, does it? At many centers, they make all the preparations for the function and they are then left standing there. They themselves are not ready. So do not do the same here. When someone comes to take a donation, you start to think what to distribute. This is why a stock is accumulated in advance. If you begin to accumulate stock at that time, many would be deprived. Just as you accumulate a stock of other things, in the same way, you must also accumulate the stock in advance. You have to supply whatever each one wants, whether they want happiness or peace or the status of a subject or of a wealthy person or whether someone just wants to salute the world emperor. There are also some people who simply want to serve at the feet of the world emperors. Therefore, you should also fill the stock of such devotees who simply wish to bow down to you. Whatever each one wants or whatever they desire, you should be able to fulfill their imperishable desires, not of this world of dust, but of the golden world. When such a stock is accumulated, you will quickly be able to give to those souls from your stock. Have you made these preparations? Have you made this account? Or do you simply see how many bodies and wealth each zone gives? Or how many banners and bed sheets each zone gives? However, you also have to put up banners on your forehead. First of all, you have to set up a living exhibition of your own image, in which your eyes appear like lotus flowers and a spiritual smile is visible on your face, and the image of the soul is visible through the forehead. 
So have you decorated your form in this way? Are you also preparing this exhibition? Or are you simply preparing the exhibition of the stall? You will receive a prize for this too, will you not? You will give one another a prize for the decorations of stall, and Bob Dada will give you a prize for the decoration of the living exhibition. Therefore, you will receive a double prize. Whichever ones do service through their living exhibitions or the banners on their foreheads will receive a prize. Now we shall see the result. The result has to be announced. There will be three prizes, first, second, and third. Bab Dada will also give three prizes. Each one of you is thinking that you will claim the first prize and that you will come in the plus. If all of you come in the first number, then you will also be given a prize. This is not a big thing. When so many become victorious jewels, what is the big deal in giving a prize to the victorious jewels? All of you should become the first number and all of you will receive a prize. You will receive a prize in the physical form. If you are given a prize in a subtle form, that is not a big thing. Because of being residents of the corporeal world, you will also be given this in the physical form. You are not going to be told now what you are going to receive. That will be revealed at that time. You will receive the price according to your specialty. Gold is not a big thing either. After a little time, all of this gold will come at your feet. All of these gifts from Bab Dada are not a big thing for those who are going to become the masters of the world. There will be as many gifts as there are the numbers of you. The greater the success of the great service you do, the greater the price you will receive. However, these people, Didi and Dadi, will give you a price for the decoration of the stall, and Bab Dada will give the other gifts. This is not just temptation, but you will be given in practically. Acha, to such constantly victorious jewels who are constantly the images of success, to those who face every external situation with their original stage, to those who remain constantly humble and bring about the renewal of the world, to those who remember the one father at every step and who are united. To those who glorify the name of the One Father, to such elevated souls, love, remembrance, and namaste from Bhaktada. Om Shanti. Om Shanti.